Okay, in this video, we're going to calculate sample variance using the definition formula, which is right here. And so let's begin. To make our lives easier, I constructed a table like this. So our x value is 2, 5, 3, and 1. Now it says x minus the average. So we need to add up this and then divide by 4 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So our x bar is equal to, we have 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 divided by 4. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, divided by 4. And if you use a calculator, you're going to get 2.75. And so now we need to fill this chart. So x is 2 minus 2.75. Likewise, 5 minus 2.75. And so the first one, we're going to get negative 0.75. The second one, we're going to get 2.25. Likewise with this, we do 3 minus 2.75, which we're going to get 0.25. And the last one, 1 minus 2.75, and we're going to get negative 1.75. So it tells us to square that piece. So what we're going to do is we take negative 0.75 and we square it. And we're going to get 0.5625. We do the same thing. We take this number, we square it, we get 5.0625. We take this number, we square it, we get 0.0625. We take this number, we square it, and we get 3.0625. Now this is important. Why is this a positive number? So negative 0.75 times negative 0.75 is negative times a negative. That's why it's a positive number. And 0.75 times 0.75 is this number. So we need to get the summation of that. So what we got to do is add it up. So we do 0.5625 plus this number, plus this number, plus this number. And we're going to get 8.75. So finally, what we're going to do is take 8.75 divided by n minus 1. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We have four numbers. So 4 minus 1, which is 3. And we type this on a calculator, we get... 2.917. And that's pretty much it for this video.